What's up gamers? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you two, two game breaking glitches that'll change the way you play this game completely. And these glitches have actually no consequences to anything. Now, before we just continue on with this video, I just wanna point out a few things. One, I am playing on system update 16.0.3. So this is a normal non-hacked switch. I also want to mention that the current version of the game that I'm on, so everyone can see this, is version 1.1.1. Okay, so we're performing it on that version. Now, in the game, duplication is getting crazy and really fun, and there's a lot of easier ways to do it. This glitch is called MSD, which is the Midair Sort Duplication Glitch. This was found by Zass, so shout out to Zass for this one. Now, let me explain the basics of how it works. In order to perform this glitch, it's simple. You just have to be able to take your shield, press X and A to get the shield surf. So ZL, X, A, get the shield surf and pause midair, right? That's all you got to do in order to get the glitch started by going to the menu, pause in the air. Now, really important in the last glitch, when someone selected an item that wasn't at the bottom, the item to the right would get consumed. So if I was trying to dupe this diamond, this sapphire would get destroyed, right? So for this example, I'm actually going to grab five diamonds and this is the new glitch. So all five of the exact same item, okay? And pay attention, we have a sapphire here. So once again, I have 26 plus the five I just used is equal to 31. So 31 diamonds, one sapphire. Then I'm going to be able to press just Y and B together. So look at that. I'm gonna press these at the exact same time. Boom. And what happened, I should have more than 31 diamonds. Look at that, I have 36. Now the question is what happened to that sapphire Let's go ahead and find it because it has to not be gone in order for players to do this because you don't want to lose an item midway. And oh, oh, what's that? That's the sapphire that was there. So no items are consumed in this process. Now, this is going to be really great for making money because pretty much <laughs> if I was just to sell five items right now to this guy, you could see that in one entire dupe, I've made 2,500 rupees. That simple. <laughs> instantly 2,500 rupees, which is pretty crazy. And the thing is you can get really fast at doing this. So if you hold your shield, jump up, you're gonna shield surf and you're just gonna hold your five, hit Y and B, drop. And just like that, look, I got my, my items back plus more. I'm back at 36. Do it again, just like this. Oh, well, you gotta go, go in the air. Uh, ZL, shield surf, jump again, hold, 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 hold. And then Y, B, drop, select, select, select. And you're gonna have 41 and then you're gonna do that again you just get it's it's so simple to repeat you just have to get used to like pressing it pretty quick yb and just like that i have more now 41 plus 5. so this can go through items very fast so money making is completely in check now some people are also going to want to duplicate large zonite devices which is going to help their battery so just go ahead get into your shield surf with the pause and then select five of them you can press YB, or if you're comfortable, you can press Y plus. I like pressing YB because it's just convenient for my thumb. There we go. I'm going to pick these up. And now we should have, there we go, 36 of these. So that is the efficient way of doing it. Now, there's also another way that you just don't have to shield surf. Maybe someone doesn't want to shield surf, right? Another part of this glitch is you could actually just fly and do this at the exact same time. So if I'm on my paraglider, just like this and I'm up in the air, I can select something. Let's say we're going to pick a really rare monster part. So we'll go by attack power. Okay, so this is my silver line of horn and I only have one of these, right? So I'm selecting one of them and I'm gonna hit Y and B. Oop, too close to a wall. So if it does say that notification, that means you're too close to something. So let me try, there we go. Maybe we can pull that off here. Let's select this and then we're going to YB. There we go. Pick that up. And now I have two silver line of horns. Now you want to make sure that you're not in any collision so that notification doesn't show up. So jumping from a higher tower or a place might be better to pull this off because if I have, if I'm too close to the wall, you won't be able to drop something. So there we go. I'm going to drop. I'm going to hold these two just to double them up. So now I went from one to two. Now these two dropped here and now I'm at four. That's a way you can duplicate monster parts which is going to be very very good and that's also an example of how you can get a one item all the way up to multiple items the next thing i wanted to talk about was being able to duplicate dragon horns because dragon horns are going to be really important for cooking meals so if i wanted to go ahead and do this i'm just gonna whoop hold that hold this and yb and now i got myself 
two of these items to do some sick cooking with. Now, the great thing about horns is that it's able to give you 30 minute buffs on the foods you use. It's amazing. So I have a bunch of fish here that are gonna give me a boost in attack. I add that horn in there and check this out. <laughs> the mighty fish skewer <laughs> attack up three for 30 minutes. So yeah, these are the big benefits of doing this. Now let's talk about the next glitch, which is known as the ZSD. Let me read that right. The Zonai Sort Duplication Glitch. Now this glitch was found out by Flash and Quelf. So shout out to them for this one. And this one's gonna be big for all those people who love doing auto builds out there. It's gonna be fantastic. So what you wanna do for this one is actually we're gonna be wanting to use a wall. So you're gonna place your character close to a wall, not directly too close, just close enough. And for this, we're going to be selecting any of your Zonai devices. Now, uh, just to show you how it works, I have 24 of these fans. I'm going to take out the maximum amount. So 10. I'm going to take out 10 fans. And then you're going to press the exact same thing. YB or Y plus, whatever you're comfortable with. So I'm going to press YB after I select the item of my choice. Then you're going to see that. You saw that little lag there? Um, that lag indicates you did it right and the game's trying to figure out what's going on. And you can see I'm still at 24 fans. And look at all these fans that have just showed up. How cool is that? So your Zone devices can be taken out. Now, this can be really useful when you have to do an auto build because auto building can get quite expensive. So there we go. I have all my items and I'm not going to be consuming any Zonite. Of course, that's if I took out every single item of mine. Now, a big utility that everyone should be using this for is the one and only rocket shields. I like to equip my shields with rockets because this can help in a lot of situations to maybe get bullet time on something or maybe just to climb up to a higher spot, right? Rocket shields are just amazing. So in order to do for do it for rocket shields, you're just going to face the wall again, just like this. Go ahead and select your item. So let's take out nine of these. That's nine rocket shields. That is crazy. So nine extra rockets. Then you're going to press YB. That little lag indicates we did it right. And we're going to see we still have nine rockets here. And then I can just go ahead and find a shield of mine that I don't have anything fused to and be like, hey, I want to fuse something to my shield. Look at that. I now have rocket shields. So now you have an unlimited supply of getting rocket shields anywhere you are in the world. So as long as you have some rockets in your inventory, it should be very easy to pull this off. And the last biggest Zonet device that I have to show you that this works on is the big battery. This one is the biggest one because big battery is going to be very good uh, for helping you get to places or having a machine do what you got to do. So if you find a big battery, please save this and use it for this because your auto builds can have a bunch of big batteries now, especially that you can carry them. So here we go. Look at that. And I have my big batteries still over here. So I have two big batteries that are going to power things on and big batteries are going to last quite a bit. So use big batteries as well. And that is going to be the MSD and the ZSD glitch. I hope you guys can have a lot of fun with this one. I definitely am. Uh, subscribe for more glitches when they come out, and I will see you all in the next video.